Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Irma and today we are going to be talking Mother's Day and we're also going to bring you this pastel look using the Natasha Denona palette. It was super fun and so easy. So if you guys are ready and you want to see how I did it step by step, then without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to make it real easy, I went ahead and started on this side of my face. The only thing I have to do here is just my lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side of my face with you guys so you can see how easy it is to do. And I also just didn't wanna make this video super long since we are also talking about Mother's Day. This is the Natasha Denona palette and it is the pastels. So it's really, really nice for spring. Look at the colors. So what I like about this palette is that she actually has a very good combination of the mattes and also the shimmers. So you can actually do like an all matte look if you want. Or you can also do like I did and incorporate some of the shimmers into your eyelids. Well, let's get started. The first thing I did is grab some of this blue right here. The color is bubble and just grab like a small blender brush. I went ahead and started adding that to the inner corner of the upper eyelid. like super pigmented you can really tell the color like right away you can see it coming through so I can't believe we're already you know in May and it's already Mother's Day the year has just gone by so fast it's already you know halfway I seem like the older you get uh, the faster time just flies by once you have that blue there, you're going to go ahead and go into the color Brisk. And that's like the minty green uh, matte color. Just go ahead and place it right next to it and start to blend. So for Mother's Day, what are your guys' like, favorite things to do? Is there something that you like doing uh, or gifts that you like to receive from your children or family? I know um, lots of families like to get together with their moms and, you know, just spend a good time together. For myself, my mom is actually out of the state, so I like to give her a call, you know, just let her know how much I love her. So order her something that I think that she would like online, um, you know, just make her feel a little special. Of course, if she was in the state, we would probably get together and have have like a dinner and everything I know Mother's Day is like the busiest day with restaurants here where I live and also I think the florists are like very very busy that day but um, what are your guys's favorite things to do on Mother's Day right here I'm actually picking up the color tool and I'm gonna place it right after this minty green right here on the upper eyelid and I'm just grabbing another little blender brush and starting to work that in for some reason, I don't know if uh, you guys that do makeup, I don't know if you have like one eye that's easier to do than the other. For me, it's always my right eye. I think it's because I'm left-handed and it's just so much easier. And also the shape of my eye here, is, I feel like it's just so much easier to work with. Whenever I do my left eye with my left hand, I just feel like I have so much more trouble doing it. I'm telling you, you guys, this is like super easy. I'm already like that much done in one eye I'm actually doing all these colors but if you just wanted to do one color or two then you know and um, i'm sure that would look really really nice as well and right here i'm gonna go and do the purple color right here on the end like i did this one and this one is called bora just grab another blender brush and go into that color like that and you just want to pack it in since this is a color that's going to be on the edge, I'm going to go ahead and wing it out a little bit so it kind of elongates your eye. Sort of wing it out. Kind of gives you that little lift on the eye there. And just try to wing it out. And then I'm going to pack it right here underneath, right on my crease. All right, so I was basically done with the top part of the upper eyelid here. I'm going to go ahead and work on the bottom part of that upper eyelid. And I am putting the purple shimmery color in there. And that one is in the color Duet, just using a flat brush. Sometimes it helps if your uh, brush is wet. Um, you can wet it with some setting powder and um, just start to work your shimmers in there. The following color is going to be like the yellow color that is here, the shimmery, and it's called Limoncillo. 
Just grab that, the same with a flat brush and start to work that on the middle part right here, right next to the purple. And just remember that, you know, just because it's Mother's Day doesn't mean that you actually have to wait for like someone else to gift you anything. You can actually just gift yourself something, why not? You know, self-love is always great. I know for myself, I love all things that smell good, like body lotions, perfumes, you know, all the good scented things, even just for the house, like candles, all of that stuff is just so, so good to me. I love, I love that. I love all um, good smell things. This is going by super, super fast. I'm already down to the last color on the upper eyelid. You know, when I first picked up this palette, I figured or I just thought that the color payoff wasn't going to be that great since they are pastel colors. But look at how fast it's gone. Like, it's super fast and I can literally see all the colors coming through. So I'm going to go ahead and do the very last color. And that one is called... Um, Adriatic and this one is the it's like the green um, like the turquoise uh, shimmery color and this one we're gonna place it right behind the yellow right here I'm making this this look like super super easy but you could also cut crease it and lift those colors up even more um, but I just wanted to keep it simple since I wanted to bring you guys a very quick little video that wouldn't, you know, just take too long of your of your guys' time. So I'm just patting that in. Also remember that I mean every mom is different, just like every every lady is different, and nobody's gonna know your mother better than you do. And so you're gonna know what she likes for this day on her special Mother's Day. I know like some moms might like gardening, flowers, plants, that's a good idea, or maybe even like perfumes like I do, you know, like beautiful smell things, um, scented things, um, or like my mom, she also likes beauty things. I remember I got her like, um, some skincare items and then I went to go visit her like three months later and I saw that she hadn't even opened them. So mom, <laughs> come on. But my mom just loves, loves flowers. Um, ever since I was young, I always liked sending her flowers to her job and you know, just little things to make uh, your mom feel special. Uh, maybe cook her her favorite dish, um, take her like a nice little outfit. Sometimes moms don't like to go shopping. So if you like to go shopping, you could do that for her and um, bring her a cake or just like her favorite dessert. Um, let's see. I mean, I don't know. Just so many ideas, so many things. It just depends on what your mom likes and yeah just make it nice for her so there we go ladies we're actually done with the upper eyelid here and we went ahead and used an entire seven colors there i'm going to go ahead and work on the under lash line here and for that i'm going to use two colors and that's going to be the color zest which is the minty like avocado green um color and then i also used a shimmery color there and that was in the color um, Starlet. For that, you're gonna get um, your pencil brush. I'm gonna start with the inner corner and grab that green color and go ahead and place that on your uh, inner corner there. So like that. And then you're gonna go to the outer uh, part of your under lash line with another pencil brush and go into the color Starlet. So this is the final color that we're using on today's look. This is the shimmery color. Um, I think it's like a coral shimmer. And I'm just placing that on the outer part of my under eye. I like using the warm colors there. And I like using like the bright colors on the um, inner part of the eye to brighten the inner part. So it's just like that. We're basically done with the colors. Before I do my eyeliner, I do want to highlight that brow bone there. And for that, I'm going to get a little angle brush. And I'm going to go into the color Illusion. Just grab a little amount and go right underneath the brow there. 
I'm gonna do a very thin um, eyeliner here and it's just gonna have like a very little baby wing there and I am using this liquid eyeliner from Tom Ford I've been loving this eyeliner lately um, my all-time favorite is the Kat Von D but lately almost every look I've been using this one I love the way that it glides you want to do like a very small line here on the inner corner because you don't want to cover those colors and then like I said just do a little baby wing there so just made a simple little wing there nothing too big so it doesn't cover up the um the colors all right we're almost done with the eyes i mean i think this was like the easiest look i've done so far like super super easy um the next thing is going to do the waterline and i'm going to use this color from color pop and it is in the color exit i'm going to use white today Just put that on your waterline. Alright, and now we're going to do our mascara. The mascara is the same that I like using. is from Benefit and this one is the Bad Gal Bang. Alright, we're done with the mascara. I'm going to go ahead and put some lashes. I need some lashes in my life right now, you guys. And then I'll be right back to finish up the look. Popped my lashes on. And you guys, I was forgetting about the inner corner. I was literally like with one eye done with the inner corner. And the other just, I don't know what happened. This is what happens when you do one eye at a time. I usually do both eyes. So I do like one thing here and then I follow with the next. And I always think that I'm like, hey, if I do one eye, I'm gonna forget to do something. I could have been out and just had like one bright inner corner and the other just there. No, no, we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this Anastasia Glow Kit in the Sugar Palette. And I'm gonna go into the color Marshmallow. It's this color here, it's like a white, yellow color. And just place that on the inner corner. Almost done here, I'm done with the eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and play around with this look a little bit more. Like right here, I added some glitter. And then I added a few little rhinestones right here above my eyebrow. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat that on this side here. I'm going to start with the little glitter here. For the glitter, I used this thing right here from Beauty Creations. And it has like so many different glitters. I don't know if they still have this available. But I know they always bring like cool different things on their website. So you guys might want to check them out. But look at all the beautiful glitters these are all chunky glitters so and today i used this one right here which has like the little hearts i put a little heart right there um the little stars and i also used this little yellow one here because it has like white hearts in there and then it just has like little yellow sparkles i place that little star right here It reminds me of Rainbow Bright, the little star. And don't forget about your grandmother, you guys. You know, uh, make sure to call her. Make sure to let her know that she's special and that you are thinking about her on this special day. Unfortunately, I don't have a grandmother anymore, but when she was here, I just loved hearing her voice and just, you know, calling her. I put the main um, little big chunky glitters that I wanted there, but I also want to kind of scatter around a little bit of the smaller little sparkles there. So I'm going to go ahead and just add like little dots, just kind of scatter them around. Tiny little dots. Kind of going up like if it was your highlighter. I'm just going to go into this one that has the yellow color because it has 
like little sparkles and I'm literally just gonna go around like that the very last thing is just adding these little gems right here to the top of the eyebrow For today's look, I'm going to go ahead and just keep some gloss on my lips. I don't want to give it too much color because we have all the color going on with the eyes and all of the sparkles. You could probably use like a nude, but for me, I just really wanted to keep it with the gloss. Today's gloss is going to be from Coco Chanel and this one is in the color Rouge Coco. I like it because it has like this pinky tone, but it also has a little bit of sparkles in it. This is the same one that I was using. I'm just reapplying it since, you know, it wears off while I was talking. But I like the look of it. All right, beautifuls. Well, this is the final look. Really loving all the beautiful colors, the pastels, the way they came together. And the glitter and the rhinestones is just so fun. So yeah, if you're into color and you want pastels, I do recommend this one, Natasha Denona. Really love it. One more time, look at the beautiful colors. So many options, you can create so many looks with this. And like I said, I was surprised with the color payoff. I, um, I love it. All right, dolls, well, this is definitely the final look. I had so much fun doing it. Had so much fun playing with all of the pastel colors. The colors came in pretty good. The color payoff was very, very nice. I love how the little rhinestones came together with all of the little stardust from the Beauty Creations. And just the little rhinestones on top gave it that little extra touch. You guys have a blessed and wonderful Mother's Day weekend. And you know, it doesn't have to be Mother's Day to call your mother or your sister or anybody, your wife, anybody that um, is a mom. Let them know how much you love them and how much they are appreciated. Sometimes, you know, just a simple phone call, a simple text is all that we need just to hear from our loved ones on this special day and every day. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, call it a night. And you guys do not forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future videos and makeup looks. And so you guys take care. I will see you here next time. Thank you. Bye.